Hey girl, don't worry, we're gonna clean you up, okay? All right, so this is an elderly Cocker Spaniel, and she has developed some warts, which is basically old age warts on dogs. She has them throughout her body. Some of them are oozing some sebum, and in some cases they, they do bleed. She has them all over her body, and she's getting a groom today. So I'm gonna show you how I clean them up because they are greasy and dirty. Um, so what I do is I wet the dog, wet the dog all over, basically to, you gotta find them all, you can see them all once the dog is uh, wet. So what I do is I use some degreasing, um, either shampoo or a bar, this is a bar and it's, it's a degreasing bar, it's really good for cats and dogs, any, any greasy animal, um, you can use that on. So what I do is I, I wet her all over so that, um, you know, she can soak. So that the hard, crusty, oozing, like sebum, can get soft because it doesn't it doesn't come off easily. It's very hard to get off. There's two of them right here, and there's some on her head. So I just rub this bar on those areas, and uh, let it soak. There is some on her ears. I can see. I can feel them. And a lot of dogs get this when they're old. Well, mostly I would say cocker spaniels, poodles, bichons are prone to this. Look at this. Look at these in her ears. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, right here. There's a big one. So hard. And since she is a Cocker Spaniel, I could use this bar like all over because Cocker Spaniels are greasy dogs and they are more difficult to wash and groom and their coat is just seems very greasy. So um, they take a long time to dry as well. So it's best to use a degreaser shampoo first and that will help, of course. So I'm just gonna soak all these areas of where she has her problems. Here's a small one right here. Try and let all that soak. And sometimes you're gonna rub it. Sometimes they do bleed. If they're not bleeding at the time, um, you maybe don't wanna rub it so hard. And just be gent very gentle to rub it so it won't bleed. Now it's really hard to groom a dog that has these kind of warts and uh, the owner will always say be careful with those warts don't make them bleed but there's no guarantee that they won't bleed and I let them know and I said well just from washing drying you know brushing combing we can be gentle as ever but just from the act of washing and getting off all that um, you know debris it can make them bleed she's got a couple of big ones right here See that sometimes you really gotta look under that hair and that's why I like to wet them so the hair gets separated and you can find them all. Cause nothing's worse than when you try to blow dry a dog with these warts with all this debris. What happens is when you blow dry them, especially with the high velocity dryer, all that flies around in your wall and you know, in your room and it hits the walls and it's just, it's just, it's just very messy. So it's best to get them off um, in the bath before you dry them. All right, so I've washed the dog. Um, once those warts were all covered with the degrease and soap, I went ahead and washed uh, the whole dog. She has a really big one here that's already bleeding. And uh, what I do with that to get off all the debris is I use this little, it's considered a flea comb. You wanna use a comb that where the tines are close together. See how close together they are? Yeah, that's the debris. So to get it off, I will use like a flea comb, something, you know, with close teeth so that you can get it off. And I just, you can tell when it's ready. I mean, you don't, you don't want to pull and hurt the dog or make a bleed. This one's already, looks like the dog has scratched it and opened it up or it's broken open by itself. So I will use, you see all the debris coming off of it? I mean, you could use your nails if you want, but it's kind of gross. <laughs> 
And so I like to use a comb. And, you know, she's too old for surgery. Um, the vet could remove these, you know, if the dog, you know, was, was able to get surgery. Um, but there's so many of them. They're kind of all over her. Come here, sweetie pie. And, uh, yeah, so the vet could remove them if they had to, especially the ones that bothered, um, that's bothering the dogs. You see all these? My dog has so many of them, I might miss a few, um, which is fine. If I see them when I dry them, what I do is I just, um, you know, cut that hair off that has all this debris on it. So it just wasn't, you know, I don't want it all over my walls and all that. I just, I just have so many of them. Come here, sweetie. You're going way down there. Mm -hmm. You always check all over the dog under the ears. Come here, this one's oh, not too bad. It's just kind of stained. And especially dogs that have long hair, it's more harder to, uh, you know, get it out. So I'm, I am going to be clipping her ears really short today because of the problem. And she's a senior dog, like I said before. She can't really handle the blow drying too much. Just be careful when you comb. You're not combing like under the board. Because you could pull it off. You just want to comb the debris. So yeah, so you're not combing like under the wart. You're not going you know, underneath it. You'll pull off the wart. What I'm doing is just combing around the wart. Just all that debris that you see, that is what you're going to be combing. Don't go like this, it will come right off. There, once they're all off, then I'll, I'll rinse the dog and I'll give them another bath. Clean them all off and then give them another scrub. And since I use the degreasin shampoo, I will be using a regular shampoo because the, the, the degreasin shampoo can be pretty drying on a dog's coat. So it's best to finish with a good quality um, shampoo to make the you know the coat look better and feel better, and the dog won't be itchy afterwards. Once I do that, I'll check for more. Like I see this one over here. She's, so she's all dry now. I washed her up really good and uh, dried her. So as I was drying her, I took a mental note of where all the warts were so I wouldn't clip them accidentally. And then what I do is I clip the hair around the ones, especially the ones that are like oozing, the big ones. It's just so that the hair doesn't, you know, go on top of them, make a big giant mess, and that way they're easier to keep an eye of and to, you know, clean them when necessary. So I usually use like a 40 blade, 30 blade, 10, or whatever you like. But the closer the better. You're not going to be shaving the water, of course. You're shaving around the area. So I use my um, Bavora walls wall before us. It's an adjustable blade. I have it. I have it on the 30. So I'm going to see if that'll help so I'm just kind of skimming over it a little bit and just basically shaving the hair around it so that it won't go into the you know into the warty issue this one's like was bleeding when she came to me it looks a lot better and that way the owner can clean it up and that way I'll see it as well and I won't um, you know nick them by accident here's another one that's big I basically just make like a circle around it. Just kind of skimming that hair away. Being 
very careful. There. Now I can breathe and be cleaned if necessary. Now there is one in her head. It doesn't really look that bad. It looks more contained. Hopefully she don't scratch that so the owner doesn't like to see them on her head. But um, I think I'll just leave that hair there. It is, you know, pretty big and kind of open. You can see it anyways. But I'll probably leave a little bit of hair there just so that doesn't look so, you know, awful when you look at her. But this one's dry and uh, it's not bleeding or anything. So I think I'll just leave that alone. Here's another one that I'm going to shave around. I shave the inside of the ear anyways, so I might as well just clean that up even more. There, so much better. There, you look like a million dollars now. Good girl, there she's all ready. So just a few of the warts I shaved around so that the owner can take care of them and keep them clean. The one on her head doesn't look too bad from here. It's a little bit of hair covering it, but it's not bleeding or anything. So that's uh, that's good news. There we go, you pretty girl. So I do have a lot of other videos that you can watch. And check out all my links down below in the description. Check out my Amazon store for all your grooming needs. And all the equipment that I use in my videos are down in my store. All the equipment I use and recommend to you. So I will see you in the next video. You want to go home? Oh, you're so pretty girl. So pretty, aren't you? You ready? You ready? You want a nap?